It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Hope Brewery and it's a can of their super juicy New England IPA coming in at 7.2% ABV in a 375 milliliter can. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening, beer in the glass then. Pouring out with a little bit of haze. Maybe the haze, a lot of it is in the bottom of the, the can. At the moment we got a slight haze with a two to three finger white head. Good levels of carbonation. I would say a straw, light amber straw colored beer. At this stage of the beer review, I'd like to say a massive thank you to Mick. Mick is the guy that sends me all of these wonderful beers pardon me, from Australia. I've been reviewing beer now from for, for the last probably 12 months, 18 months uh, from, from Australia and they've been absolutely superb. From IPAs to New England IPAs, from Stouts to Porters to Imperial IPAs to even, what did we do just now? We reviewed a Salted Caramel Milkshake IPA from Three Ravens. That was that was an interesting beer, I'm going to put it that way, very interesting beer, but yeah, if it, if it wasn't for Mick, none of this would have happened. So thank you very much, Mick, for sending me the beers. Super Juicy New England IPA. Yeah, there's, there's some haze there, looks pretty good, let's get the aroma. Oh yeah, yeah. It smells really fresh. Like bang on proper fresh beer. It's a mixture of, I would say fleshy pink grapefruit, some grapefruit and some orange peel. Maybe some fleshy blood orange. It's got all of those kind of juicy, citrusy, vitamin C, peel kind of big fruits. It's got that, it's got that aroma about it. it smells great. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. What an amazing beer, it's just, it's just so full on, just absolutely mouth smashing, bang, full of flavour, this grapefruit, this pineapple, this fleshy blood orange, lots of flavour to begin with, a little bit of sweetness from the malt, and then just this magnitude, this absolute smashing magnitude of, 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 of citrusy, grapefruity, orange peely, blood orangey. It's almost, I'm getting to the point now where I'm struggling to explain just how super juicy and, 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 and almost concentrated, this the concentrated kind of like massive fruit juice flavors coming through. And then just a tickle. Just a little tickle of bitterness on the back end. And that's what New England IPAs are all about, guys. Oh, I'm gonna pick this back up now. I'm gonna pick it back up. Whew. Amazing, absolutely amazing. I was a little bit kind of like when I was pouring the beer, I was like, it's not too hazy, which which New England IPAs are uh, absolutely kind of, that, that's what they look like is these haze bombs. It is hazy, it is, it is hazy, but boy, the flavor, the flavor on this beer is incredible. It's got like a, the second taste is a little bit like a sherbet bomb, a lemon sherbet kind of like explosion, lots of carbonation. 
kind of like sharp lemon, but the flavors on the beer, just absolutely out of this world, out of this world, it's just so, I'm gonna take away the word I used earlier, concentrate. Concentrate's not a very nice word, I don't think, to use in beer. I'm gonna use the word magnified. Such a magnified flavor of, of, of hops in the beer, it's just incredible, absolutely incredible. Do you know, it's really funny. It's really funny because I just finished doing a beer review of a British beer. Uh, by Northern Monk Brewing Company and North and it was called and I very very rarely do this but I'm going to make my point as to why I'm doing this I'm going to grab that beer now and I said to the people in the in the previous beer review if you watch that beer review and I've just recorded it and and I said in that beer review that if this beer isn't in my top 10 pardon me by the end of the year, then there must be some awesome, awesome beers out there that can beat it. Lo and behold, lo and behold, the next beer I, I grab and review just completely somehow knocks it out of the pack, smashes it out of the pack. And 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 I've all already forgot about that wonderful beer over there. I'm thinking about this beer now because this beer is just it's incredible. There's no other words for it. It's an incredible, incredible beer. Hope Brewery. Super juicy New England IPA. They've not written too much on the side here. Uh, product of Australia, uh, drink wise, uh, and that's it. Uh, fre can fresh in the Hunter Valley, uh, Poco Bin, uh, New South Wales, uh, Australia. Check it out. You've got to check this beer out, guys. You really, if you if you've got a bend steal just do some crazy stuff to get the hold of this beer then get hold of this beer trade maybe find some people in australia to trade with and just trade to get hold of this beer it is absolutely incredible incredible it's a stone the crows 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 from me low craft beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom and cheers